Let me at the beginning make it abundantly plain and clear that I hold the leaders of the Iranian revolution with respect. I honor them. And I consider those who gave their lives, who died in the struggle to liberate Iran from the oppressive rule of the Shah, to be people who have died in Allah's way. I pray for Allah's mercy upon them, blessings for them. Let me make it clear that the world of Islam have allowed the Shia to perform the Hajj for 1400 years. No, no regime in control of the Hijaz, no regime in the control of the Hijaz, to the best of my knowledge, in these 1400 years, have ever prevented the Shia from performing the Hajj on the grounds that they were not Muslims. It is therefore, I think, a little bit late in the day for some fatwa to be issued that the Shia a kuffar. So I recognize the Shia of Iran as Muslims. Having said that, my honor and respect for those who led the Iranian revolution and those who fought in the Iranian revolution, my admiration for them. And having spoken about my recognition of them as Muslims, let me now say, say that anyone who declares of Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala anhu that he is a usurper is misguided. This is not an uncharitable statement. This is not a declaration of any war. This is a factual statement. And when you compound that by declaring that Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu was a usurper, you're misguided. And when you compound that by declaring that Uthman radiallahu ta'ala anhu was a usurper, you were thrice misguided. And so, because of this misguidance that I've just mentioned, this is enough, I don't need to go beyond this. The version of Islam which emerges from our Shia brothers cannot be considered to be completely authentic. And therefore, it can now be understood why this partially authentic version of Islam is the only version of Islam which can succeed in a revolution in the modern age. Nobody else. Nobody else. And when Saddam Hussein is toppled, it is more likely than not that the regime which will replace him would be Shia. Hmm? What this would do would be, lend, would be to lend credibility to the Shia claim to validity that this is the authentic Islam. Because this is the only Islam which is succeeding in the modern world. Israel wouldn't want to destroy that. <laughs> and so the Iranian oil is not likely to be touched. Wait, and we will see. <laughs>